Hey, today I'm here with my sister Kelly and my cousin Chris from the United States. Yeah! So yeah, today we will be doing an international food challenge. So we have food from China and from the Netherlands. So let's begin. So the first thing we have is this. Mahua from China. You're right to enjoy this. <laughs> that looks like... It doesn't look very good on the rack. Oh yeah. my god. It looks like a... I have no idea. It, it doesn't look appetizing. It smells pretty good actually. It's oily. Take a piece. Yeah, us Americans eat oil for instant dressing. What? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> our place. I like how you guys got like that tiny piece and I got this huge chunk. Yeah. I'm American, do it! There we go. <laughs> Ready? Set? Go. It's like dough. It does not taste like anything. Oily dough. Yeah. <laughs> I just taste oil. What'd you rate this? A uh, four. Three. I'll give it a one and a half. Oh, takaho pai in English. And this in Chinese, if anyone can read it. And that looks really weird. Yeah. It's a bunch of these small things taped together. We don't have to cook. Okay, do we eat this part too, or do we want to eat the inside? We eat that part too, I believe. Rip a piece off or something. Oh, it's jelly light. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Are you sure this is not foam? I'm not no. sure. I think it's edible. Okay. Three, two, one. Consume. It's not that bad. I think I just ate some foam. The jelly is not that bad. Yeah, it's good. What'd you rate it, Kelly? Mm, like four or five? Two. <laughs> I'll give it yeah. a four. And now we have this. It's called Stylish Beijing Food. Mm. Somewhat concerning. Mm. Very stylish. Someone has to eat it. I don't think that's edible. I think it's too late. Are you sure? This definitely looks edible. So, what is this? It's very compact. Mm, they're so, hard. I guess. I guess. Take a smaller piece. <laughs> it smells actually okay. Yeah, it does. It smells like a turnover. Let's consume this. Mm. Go. Chewy. Mm. I the whole thing right. Top yeah, no. so Americans, we just eat the entire thing, no. and then they're dumb enough to buy another no. one. It's okay. Until they're broken. So what are your thoughts on the stylish Beijing food? No. No? no. Not stylish. Now I have these. They're like jelly-like. It's weird. We're gonna eat. Yeah, we have nine of them, so... Each take one and open it up. It is slimy. I really don't want to eat this whole thing. You don't have to, you just have to take a bite. Three, two, one, and two. Why are you taking such big bites? Me? Yeah. No. What's not? It's a chestnut, so I guess it's supposed to be chestnut flavor. Aren't chestnuts like not sweet and like. Yeah, they are. You've never had chestnut? Oh, well, I've had them, but I don't know. When we go to the actual supermarket, we're getting chestnuts. It smells like nutty plastic. <laughs> I wonder why it is. So would you rate this? Mm, two, one, zero. 
give it a negative four. Hmm. Oh, we can go. You you can make up whatever number you want. Okay? Negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay. Now we're getting to Dutch food. This is Dutch, Dutch food. Stop making fun of Dutch people. I don't want the Dutch people to hate me. Don't hate me. <laughs> hate <laughs> hate him. Yeah. Don't hate Kevin. Hate me. So these cookies say San Francisco on them, and I have no idea why. And I don't read any Dutch. There's a lot of practice there. Each guy. It just smells like a regular, actually. It smells like one of those like arrowroot crackers, you know, like the crackers for the babies or whatever. I love those crackers. It's lumpier. Yeah, it is fairly lumpy. It's probably whole wheat. Oh, how I love lumpy food. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, and soup. It tastes like an arrowroot cracker mixed with like a whole wheat cracker. I took the whole half. Lovely. This is a food taste test, so you probably don't want to be consuming things technically. These are actually really good. So how are those San Francisco crackers, Kelly? Really good. I want another. What'd you rate it? Um, 20. One. You don't like crackers? Those are disgusting. <laughs> like, well, those. I don't like them. <laughs> what about you? I enjoy them. I'll give them an eight. Now we have more crackers from the Netherlands and with Dutch writing, which I don't read. Oh, those are like, those are some sort of nut. No, oh, those are oh, watermelon oh. seeds, I think. Or, or they may be almond, I'm not sure. Um, this looks like the word almond. That's what I thought. And then, uh, take a cracker. I'm being lazy, take a cracker. Smells... Smells like... Gingerbread. Yeah. Are you ready to consume this almond gingerbread cookie like thing? Sure. Yeah. Let's go. Go! I like it. Mm. I don't. It's good. I don't like gingerbread. It's in the shape of people. It is? Yeah, two people. What? Kelly's right. It is two people if you take out all the almond pieces. So how are those almond gingerbread cookie things, Chris? Better than the other Dutch cookies. What are your thoughts? Mm, slightly worse than the other Dutch cookies. I would agree with the said statement. I didn't like them. But then again, I don't like gingerbread anyway. Maybe you're more of a salt person. Maybe. And now we have these! More cookies? We have something in a windmill container. Because windmills are found everywhere in the Netherlands. What's inside? Do you have any guess? More cookies? More cookies. They're not really cookies, but they sort of are. These are like waffle things. Yeah, they look like waffle. Are you ready to enjoy this? Yeah. Maybe not the enjoy part? Let's go. Really good. I'm gonna enjoy all of these. So Chris, how are those windmill waffle cookie things? Not my thing. Like maybe a four or a three. Kelly, what are your mm. thoughts? Still slightly worse than those like first crackers. Maybe eight. It take too long to think of your ratings. I like them more than the first crackers. So finally, we have this thing. It's complentra. Nope. Complenter. Completa. Completa. <laughs> Completa. <laughs> and here it says coffee creamer. So we're assuming this is coffee creamer. I said a K though. Yes, this is Dutch. <laughs> we're Darn you, Dutch. Yeah, we don't really know what it is. It looks like coffee creamer. It smells like coffee though, so I'm not sure. Let me shake a spoon. Let's see. Oh, 
Don't care up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they'll think. Uh, no. This is not cocaine. <laughs> or any other drug. It's complentra. Complenta. I don't know what you are. It does. Are you ready to consume this? Three, two, one. It tastes like coffee meat. I guess it is Dutch coffee meat then. What are your thoughts on this complenta coffee creamer? <laughs> With a K. <laughs> like my name. Uh, I don't know. Just never eat coffee cream. Just. Oh God. What are your thoughts? Eating just coffee creamer is not good. Yeah. I'm all like flowery right now. It's like yeah. how I feel like I just ate dog food or something. I'm pretty sure dog food is worse. Do you want to do like a dog food challenge next time? No! Oh, thank you. We are going to the supermarket, so. Yeah, no. No, thank you. Thank you. So that's the end of our international food challenge taste test thing. With only Chinese and Dutch foods. <laughs> because clearly we don't have that many people coming here. Does anyone else want to come here and bring us more international foods? We'd appreciate it. So yeah, how are your thoughts on this challenge? Coffee creamer is not good. What are your thoughts? I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> you regret the interview. Okay, that's fine. So yeah. No, the coffee creamer. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> about the coffee creamer. Obviously, because it's so important. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up because I got two special guests in this video. Which is always rare because I don't have any friends. I will pay them, I promise you. <laughs> I promise. So be sure to subscribe to my channel where I make videos every week or so. So anyway, bye! Bye! Bye!